Toaster? Uh, yep. I think you hired dyslexic movers. Yes. Hey, think fast. Always. <laughs> you ready? We can't be late for our day ones. I'll meet you in the car, okay? Uh, Mom. What? the time for God. Nothing wrong with a small town. People know their neighbors. They help each other out. It's nice. Adorable. Is there a spot to hitch your horse? Yeah. Right between the OK Corral Saloon and the Tumbleweed General Store. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, do you mind if we don't walk in together? Oh, of course. I get it. Thanks. And uh, that's Vice Principal Porter to you, at least between eight and three. Cruel and unusual, Mom. Cruel and unusual. Love you, Sarah Bear. Love you, too. Great reports and stuff, but um, that's only every other week. Okay. Welcome to the head office. This is Denise. <laughs> this place would fall apart without her. <laughs> Hi, Denise. Nice to meet you. Welcome to Mattawa High. Thank you. <laughs> um, little tip. You might want to mark your uh, yogurt in the staff fridge. Otherwise, Denise won't eat it and claim she thought it was hers. <laughs> Anyways, uh, this is you. This is great. Well, we're very excited to have you join our team. Uh, it might be a bit slower paced than what you're used to. Oh, well, that sounds nice, actually. I'll let you get settled in. If you have um, any questions, any concerns, I'm in the uh, big office. <laughs> Thanks, Andre. Well, that's good to know. We were wondering if you were cool or not. Oh, it's my mom. So Chicago, huh? Yeah. How'd you know? We're a small town. It's what we do. So you guys have a pretty good team, huh? Undefeated. That's cool. Well, I guess you'd know. <laughs> Ignore Maddie. She has trust issues. Well, look, first day sucks, so if you have any questions or whatever, don't be shy. See you around.
see you tomorrow, Jerry. Have a great night. So, how was it? Everything I dreamed of and more. Ooh, I denote sarcasm. You denote correctly. Green or red peppers? Red. Red it is. Can you grab the chocolate milk? Now me get the cash. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, and can you get tomato paste? Yep. Oh! <laughs> you got a runner. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Was that your daughter? Uh, yes, that's Sarah. Yeah, I saw her taking some shots in the gym earlier today. I'm Ruth Simmons. I coach the girls' high school basketball team. Oh, I'm Claire Porter. I'm the new vice principal. Well, I guess that makes you my new boss. From the sounds of it, you're doing a pretty good job. <laughs> well, thank you. Your daughter? She looked good. She is good. She was on the team back home, MVP every year. Wow. Well, that's good to know. I could use another strong player. We've got nationals coming up. Oh. I don't know if she'd be up for it. She's having a little bit of a hard time transitioning, oh. trying to fit in. It's the age. My daughter was the same way. Believe me, I am an expert on teenage girls. It's like I got 10 of them. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how you do that. I only have one, and I don't even know if I'm doing a good job at that. You know, I think only good moms ask themselves that question. Thank you for saying that. Can I just... I don't mean to overstep my bounds or anything, but... Joining the team might be exactly what your daughter needs. When my daughter Kat joined the team, she just blossomed. She's team captain this year. Not to toot my own horn, but she'd be joining a championship team. Scouts regularly check out our games. A number of my girls have gotten scholarships to top schools. Well, that's impressive. <laughs> Tell her to come check out practice tomorrow, if she wants. I will. Good. Thank you. Welcome to town. <laughs> hey, I'll see you at school. Absolutely. <laughs> Oh, this is not good. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> you like that one? Thank you. So mean. <laughs> mm. This one sounds good. Magic tablecloth. Oh. Ready? Mm-hmm. Hey there. Say hi to my rabbit. Okay, Harry that's the, the same tablecloth we have. What's he doing? Come on, Harry. Here oh, you you're go. kidding. Why is he a bunny? Please don't hurt the bunny. The bunny has no idea what's going on. That's how you know it's totally real. It's totally a trick. No, he's gonna do it. <gasps> That's so cool! That's such a trick. No! That is totally a trick. No, that was totally real! Mm -hmm. I don't oh buy it. God. Mm. Remember uh, I told you I was talking to the coach today? Mm -hmm. She said she saw you taking shots in the gym and that she thought you were really good. Really? Mm-hmm. And she also said that they need a shooting guard and to swing by practice tomorrow after school if you want. I don't know. The season's almost over anyway. So? Sarah, you love to play. And I, I think it would be really good for you. Maybe make some friends and show that team a thing or two. I do have a badass team. Just try. What's the worst that can happen? I guess it wouldn't be right to let all this God-given talent go to waste. Yes, it would be terribly selfish of you to deny the world your gifts. But don't you know, Mother, that I have an even greater gift than basketball? Oh? What do you do? No, 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 no. I can totally do it. No, no, no! Sarah, it was a trick. I it was a trick. You, this is what I was born to do. No, it was a trick. Ever could have it. Oh, please. Oh, please. Oh, please. Oh, please. Good. Talk to each other. Nice shot, Kat. You guys, I need more talking to each other, okay? All right, no mistakes, no excuses. Be your best or... Stay home! Amen. We've got Dina T on the bench, and we need as much offensive help as we can get, especially with Wilmot next week, right? I want to introduce you guys to Sarah Porter. She's just moved here from out of town, and she's going to check out our practice today. Show us what she's got, right? All right, Sarah, why don't you cover Kat? Take it from the top. Come on, girls. Let's go. 
Go! Let's see what you got, big city. So what do you guys think? Sarah have what it takes to be a viper? Yeah. Yeah? Seems unanimous. What do you say? Join the team? Like right now? Like right now. Absolutely. <laughs> Good. Because we don't take no for an answer around here. Congratulations. You're joining something really special. Every single one of these girls has your back and they expect the same from you. Okay? Okay. This year, we're taking nationals. Come on, Cap. Two, three, Vipers! <laughs> Sorry about the elbow. I practice like I play. From now on, save it for the other team. So listen, we're all going to Maddie's tonight. Her dad works nice. You should come. Okay. No, no, no. Cool, I'm in. Big City's in! <laughs> Mom, what are you doing here? I was too excited to wait. So? I'm on the team. Yes, <laughs> I knew it. Oh, honey, congratulations. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> we have to celebrate. Tonight, let's watch The Princess Bride and pig out on mint chocolate chip ice cream. That sounds awesome. But uh, I got invited to this team bonding thing. Tonight? Yeah, everyone's heading over there now. Oh, okay. I'm. I mean, that's great. We can do girls' night another time. Oh, totally. <sighs> so is this like a, it's like a party? I don't know. Kind of, I guess. <laughs> is there going to be an adult there? No, it's just the team, I think. Oh, well, I don't really like that. Mom. What about boys? Oh, what about them? Okay. Come on, it's just the team, I told you. Would there be any alcohol? You know I don't drink. Oh, I know. Hey, Sarah, if you want a ride, you can come with us. Okay, cool. I can drive you. That would literally be the worst. Well, I want you home by 11. You're being a total helicopter mom. A what? A helicopter mom, you're always hovering around me. I am not, I am just trying to- Mom, I'll be fine. I promise. I love you. It's mom calling. Um, just noticed you haven't texted me back at all tonight, so I just wanted to check in and make sure you're okay. I'm sure you are. You're probably having a blast. Um, I am heading to sleep, so send me a text and let me know when to expect you, okay? Oh, and don't get your hopes up. There's absolutely no ice cream left in the house whatsoever. <laughs> okay. I love you, Sarah Bear. Bye.
Rise and shine, party animal. What? You forgot how to send a text? Good morning, Denise. It's Claire Porter. Listen, I'm just on my way in. I was wondering if you could check what class Sarah has this morning for me. Biology 205. Great. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs> Porter, uh, I'm Kat, team captain. Hi, Kat, nice to meet you. Um, I was just wondering if any of you have seen Sarah this morning. <clears throat> uh, no. no. I'm sorry, I just, I, she didn't come home last night, so I thought she just might have stayed over at, um, uh, who hosted? That's me. Hi, so Sarah didn't stay over at your place last night? No. Did she leave? Uh-huh. What time? I don't really remember, do you remember, Kat? It was after we did our dream boards, for sure, but I wasn't really looking at the time. Did she seem upset? Did she say anything? No, she seemed cool. Don't worry, she probably just skipped or something. Okay, Sarah doesn't skip, so... Sorry, we gotta go to practice. But it was nice to meet you, Miss Porter. Sarah's mom. Yes, no, we're great, we're great, yes. Um, have you heard from Sarah recently? Okay. No, 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 everything, everything is fine. Would you do me a favor and let me know as soon as you hear from her? Hi, is this Bruce? Hi, it's Claire Porter, Sarah's mom. Yeah, I didn't know, I just thought she, she might have reached out and said hey. Oh, okay, yeah, can you text me Rhea's number? Hey, hi, yeah, this is, um, Claire Porter, Sarah's mom. Have you heard from Sarah? Have you seen her online at all? Yeah, that'd be great. Can you call me if you hear anything? I don't, I don't care. I don't care what time it is. I need you to call me. Yeah, I have, I, have, I have checked everywhere. I am looking everywhere. It is just not like her. Yes, thank you. I have called her. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. What do you... Lauren, I, of course I've called. She was the first person that I actually even... Sarah? I am so sorry. I thought you were. help you? My daughter, she didn't come home last night. Who didn't come home? My daughter. You're know the ones that just moved into the uh, Henderson's old house, huh? Yes, I'm Claire Porter. M my daughter's name is Sarah. Please, take a seat. This is Sheriff Mosley. I'm Rick. Why don't you tell us what happened? Sarah made the basketball team yesterday and left to go to this team bonding thing with the other girls. Congratulations to your daughter. My niece is on the team. What time was this? 
around 3.30. She was supposed to be back at 11, but she didn't come home last night, so I just assumed that she stayed over at one of the girls' places, but she didn't come to school today. So I checked in with the teammates, and they said that they all saw her leave last night. Okay, slow, slow down now. Uh, you tried calling her, right? Yes, I've tried calling her. I've been calling her nonstop. She's not answering. The last time you saw her, was she acting strange? Did she seem upset? No, she had just made the team. She was so happy. Hmm. She probably partied too hard and she's sleeping it off somewhere. No, that is, that is not my Sarah. She's a teenager. I know my daughter. Are you sure about that? Doug, look, I'm just saying. I mean, who knows what goes on in a teenage girl's mind? I mean, I sure as hell don't. <clears throat> Does she have a boyfriend maybe back in... Chicago. Yes, an ex-boyfriend. But I've called him and everyone else she knows and no one has heard from her. What about her father? Where's he? He, um, he, he passed away seven months ago. Cancer. Very sorry. Did you check to Look, see I, if- Look, I have already done all of the things you're going to ask me, okay? I have checked with her friends. I have, I drove around looking for her. I have texted her. I've sent her messages. I have checked her social media. Sarah would not just disappear without letting me know that is not like her. My daughter is missing. Do you hear me? She is missing. Okay. Okay. Doug, I think we should bring in the girls from the team. Excuse me? Well, they were the last ones to see Sarah. Hold on here. What exactly are you accusing them of? No one's accusing anyone, Chief. These Maybe... girls are the gold standard of this town. My niece Maddie is looking at a full sports scholarship to Michigan State. Well, then I hope that doesn't cloud your judgment, Sheriff. Deputy, you get her statement. I'll make some calls. You ready? Okay, so tell me now, in your own words, okay? What do you remember about Sarah Porter? I mean, and what happened last night? Well, I invited her to Maddie's house, and uh, we were all pretty excited to have her on the team. It's it's more of a sisterhood, so we just want well, her. You can't be in here. Welcome. I'm not going anywhere. <sighs> Shh, don't tell Doug. So, what time did Sarah come by? Um, I think it was just before seven. Um, just before seven o'clock. All right. So who's there? Uh, I was just the team. No adults. Her dad was at work. Okay. So was this a party? A party? <laughs> Hardly, Uncle Doug. We just ordered Chinese food and just wanted to get to know Sarah. How did Sarah seem when she came by? She had this huge bottle of vodka. And when she got there, she was just taking shot after shot. She was kind of just drinking alone in the corner. She was getting, like, wasted. And you know we, we don't drink. We signed an honor code, so. I don't know. We were all pretty weirded out by it. Okay. Then what happened? She was just, like, really pissy and kept drinking. She was saying how much she hated moving to this town, how much Chicago was so much better. She called us hicks. How did that make you feel? Her behavior made me feel uncomfortable. OK. Um, what did she do then? Kat told her to go get some air. And she went out, you know, the big chair on the back porch? She went out for some air, I guess, to like cool off. Yeah, we just stayed inside and worked on our place and our drills. I just figured, you know, let her do her own thing. Kat went to go check on her, and she was gone. She was just gone? Yeah. I mean, I assume she just went home. That's what we all thought. Nobody saw her leave? No. We all thought for sure she went home. Do you remember what time it was? I think it was around 10.45. 10.45? 10.45, I want to say. 10.45 PM. It was 10.45. You sure? Positive. I feel responsible. Why? I'm team captain. You know, I just, I don't know, I just, I wish I'd have done more. You did good. Nothing to worry about. Sheriff? Okay, none of this makes any sense, okay? What those girls were saying about Sarah, it's, that, it's, it's not Sarah. That's Hold on the, all the Hold things on they were second. saying. It was not. You let her watch the interview? 
Damn it, Rick. Sorry, Doug, it just... I, I told well, you. you've seen it all then, okay? Look, I've seen it a million times, all right? Emotional teenage girl, she gets, she, 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 she gets upset, she runs away for a day or two, then she calms down. I am back. telling oh. you that is not... What kind of crap is this, Doug? Okay, her girl didn't come home, Reg. What do you want me to do? What the hell does that have to do with Maddie and the girls? Well, nothing, as it turns out, all right? You've got some goddamn nerve accusing these kids. Okay, take it. Who the it hell do you think you okay, are? Hold off, all right, dial it down. Shut up, Doug. Don't you, you don't me know us. Don't you don't even know us. Take it easy. Dial it down, Reg. Who the hell are you? Hey, hey Reggie, are you kidding me? You back down. Her girl's missing. You'd do the same thing if it were Maddie. Come on. And in front of the girls? You should set a better example. Everyone okay? Girls? Yeah? yeah? Okay, come on, Doug. Can they go home? Yeah, they can go home. Everybody go home. You guys, we've got practice early in the morning, okay? Everything's gonna be fine. We'll talk about it tomorrow. You wait for me in the truck. Okay? Let's go. Go home, Reggie. Come on. Come on, Rick. Claire. Claire, listen to me. You gotta know that if my girls knew anything, if they had anything to do with this, I would know. I guarantee you that. All right, you need to stay positive. Sarah's fine. She's fine. They're gonna find her. Okay, and you should get home just in case she shows up. Try to get some rest. Okay? And you know what? If you need anything, anything at all, you know where I am. Okay? I mean it. Thank you. Honey, is this you? Honey, talk to me, please. Who is this? Who is this? Hello? Hello? Thanks, Margie. I appreciate you meeting me here. I just didn't want to deal with the sheriff. I understand. So I checked your phone records, and whoever called you used a pay phone. I'm sorry, but it could have been anyone. You've upset a lot of people. They're upset? My daughter is missing. You have to understand, folks around here are very protective of the girls on that team. It's a high school basketball team. It's a lot more than that, too. For most of those girls, that team is their only way out of Mattawa. You go after the team, you go after the town. I am not trying to go after anybody, but come on. I mean, those girls are not telling the whole truth. They're hiding something. Oh, well, their stories are consistent. Well, that's just it. When do even two people remember an event the same way, let alone ten, in all those details? Maybe they remember the same thing because that's what happened. Or they rehearsed it. Look, Mrs. Porter, I... Hey, when I spoke to them yesterday at school, none of them had any idea what time Sarah left. Now, all of a sudden, they all remember the exact time to the minute. I have to show you something. <sighs> this is Sarah stealing a large bottle of alcohol from Red's liquor store last night. 6.53 p.m. You, you can't see her face. She's wearing the clothes you described. I mean, she, she doesn't drink. She certainly doesn't steal. Look, Claire, I think the sheriff might be right on this one. Or maybe she's just acting out. She seems like a good kid, but... 
She'll come to her senses and come right back. We do see this often enough. Sorry, it's not Sarah related, but I gotta get back to the station. Listen, go home, okay? I'll call you if I hear anything. My number's there. Just call me if you if you see her. Thank you. Just hi. Excuse me. Um, have you seen her anywhere? Nowhere. Okay. Can you please let me know if you see her and can you share that with um, your my daughter is missing. My number's right there. So if you could, if you could, your, uh, just keep your eyes open and maybe you ask your friend. Oh, hi, hi. Yeah. Sir, would you mind? Um, uh, if you could let me know if you see her, that would be great. Thank you. So, so much. She's about my height, and if you see her, I please call the number. Organizing a search party, and time is of the essence, so we need volunteers. As many feet on the ground as we can muster. Base camp will be the community center. Also, we've set up an anonymous hotline that you can call if anyone has information regarding the whereabouts of Sarah Porter. Sarah's mother, Claire, would like to say a few words now. If you are a person involved in the disappearance of my daughter, or you know anything about it, I am 
begging you to please do the right thing. I just want my daughter back. Sarah, if you're watching this, oh, sweet, I miss you so much. I hope that wherever you are, you are safe and warm. And honey, I want you to know I will never stop looking for you. I won't. I just won't. I will. I'm. Yeah. Mrs. Porter, Porter, Mrs. Porter. Thank you all. Uh, Mrs. Porter, Mrs. Porter, Mrs. Porter. That's us so right there. So we're here in the three groups. Okay. One, group two, group three. Well then, how long does it actually take? Claire, I am so sorry. Thank you. Um, what can we do? You guys all came out. Of course we came out. Yes, Sarah's one of us. We all just, we wanted to help. Thank you. All right, everyone, listen up. Thank you all for coming. Listen, Sarah went missing Thursday night, so she couldn't have gotten that far. We're gonna get out there, we're gonna cover as much ground as we possibly can. We're gonna separate into three groups, each assigned with very specific areas highlighted on these maps. Each group leader will be given a walkie-talkie so we can stay in constant communication. Let's keep our eyes and our ears and all of our senses open. Stay vigilant. Let's find Sarah. It's very slippery. Your hands are freezing. <sighs> Forgot my gloves. Here. Take mine. No. It's okay. You sure? Yes, I'm fine. You're, you'll need them. Thanks. I hope we don't find her. What do you, what do you mean? If we don't find her, there's a chance she's still alive. Strong? Hmm? Yeah, look at me. It's just like on the court. All right, you lost in your head. You've lost the game. That's right. Mom? Yeah.
Are you okay? Um, my leg hurts really bad. Um, Do you remember anything? Do you remember how you got here? I fell. I woke up and I didn't know where I was. I walked for a while. Okay. Please help me. Okay. Shh, 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 shh. Please. Okay. Just, you stay right here. I'm gonna go get help. No, please take me with you, please. I can't move you. Please. I can't move you. Please. I'm really scared. Please. I'm gonna get help. You're gonna be fine. I'll be back, I promise. Please. Stay here. Please. Sarah, I'm gonna be right back. Coach. Stay there. Coach. Coach, please. You told me she was dead. She's not gonna make it. What are we gonna do? We have to call somebody or no, no, do no, no, something. No, 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 we're not calling anybody. <laughs> you have any idea what's gonna happen if she walks out of there? You go to prison for a very long time. Your life will be ruined. She's still alive. We have to do You something. already lied to the police. Are you willing to throw your whole life away for that girl? The lives of all of your teammates? For that girl? No. Nothing in this area. Over. We're calling it for today. Over now. <laughs> mm, my baby girl. I'm not gonna let anything happen to you. I promise.
today? No. No, yesterday was hard on her. She was upset. Hey, so we're gonna head a few miles further south today, down the escarpment. It's a densely wooded area, and I don't know, I feel like we could have missed something from the air. Okay. Hey, don't you think that, you think we should stay along the river? And if Sarah found the river, don't you think she would follow it down? That's a good point. Okay, let's head further down the river then. Okay. Hey folks, change your plan. We're gonna, uh, we're gonna be heading down the river. We don't know. Right now, it's just a canoe. Oh, Sarah's phone. Ranger, we need to get everybody down here to search every inch of this riverbank. Also, call the divers. We need to drag this river. Come in base camp. Come in base camp. We found an abandoned canoe on the bank about three miles south of Oaks Falls. Claire? No. It's just a precaution. And we're gonna need a dive team. No! Claire? No! We're gonna have to drag you. Do it now. Hi, honey. You remember that lullaby you used to always sing to me when I got sick? I sang that to you ever since you were a baby. Bally Amen. Would you sing it to me? Of course. I 
wrist, tired eyes a while, sweet is my baby's smile. Angels are guarding and they watch over thee. The primrose in the sheltered nook, the crystal stream, the babbling brook, all these things God's hands have made for very love of thee. Twilight and shadows fall. Peace to his children all. Angels are guarding. And they watch over thee. As you sleep. May angels watch over thee. playing this whole thing over and over in my head and and there's just one thing I can't make sense of at all. What was Sarah doing way out there in the woods? I have no idea. I need to ask you something and I need you to be honest with me. <laughs> of course. Where did you get them? That girl killed herself because of what your team did to her. That was a very long time ago. You were the coach then. And that haunts me every single day. But I dealt with it and every single one of those girls was suspended. What if something like that happened to Sarah? What if it upset her so much she ran off? No. No way. No way I would know. Those girls trust me. They tell me everything. How can you be sure? There is no hazing on my team. 
or on any team here. Hazing is strictly forbidden, zero tolerance. If I knew anything, I would tell you. I'm not sure I believe that. I was in the army, did you know that? Deployed to Iraq, only woman on my squad. And my first night there, I was tested. I was tested beyond what you could even imagine. But my fellow soldiers needed to know if I could be broken, and I wasn't broken. I earned their trust. And it took me years to figure it out, but what they did, it was a gift. It made me strong, it made me a survivor. It is a tough world out there, Claire. And I am just trying to prepare my girls for it. But they're not soldiers. They're 17 year old girls playing high school basketball. I don't see a difference. Claire, I'm a mother. And I can only imagine what you're going through. Oh. You just have to know that you're Sarah Bear. She loved you so much. How did you know I called her that? Like I said, these girls tell me everything. Go home, Claire. Stop fighting windmills and go home. And Claire? Leave my girls alone. Sorry, what? You're Claire Porter. Yes. M my son Patrick goes to school here. I heard about your daughter. I am so terribly sorry for your loss. Thank you. I hope this isn't indelicate of me, but I run the funeral home in town. Funeral home? Whenever you are ready. We are here to help you in this most difficult time. What are you, what are you saying? I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean to. To what? You didn't mean to what? How dare you? There's no, there's no body. So there's nothing for you to bury. Do you get that? There is no body. Because my daughter is not dead, okay? Sarah is alive. What is the matter with you people? Claire, I... I think it would be best if you took some time off. What? Paid leave, of course. Andre, I can't sit in that house all day. I will go crazy. How long? Just enough time for you to recover from... to recover from this. This? You don't recover from? I, I didn't mean it that way, I... You know what? I'm gonna make this easy on you. I quit.
tell you what you can and cannot do to your garage. It makes a sense. It's a city. Yeah, you said a mouthful there. Sarah?
hate her, but Sarah had no idea. We forced her to drink, and, <laughs> and then we blindfolded her, and we marched her through the woods. <laughs> You know where we brought her to? Trust Cliff? No. Okay, my mom named it that when she brought her first squad there. It's where all the girls are taken. It's where all of the girls go. <laughs> Everybody was freaking out, eating it up. So was I. Then, then the real initiation starts. What did you do? What did you What did you do? They asked her to trust her sister and lean into the, into the, the nothing. <laughs> She kept asking me over and over and over again to pull her back in. Stop! Stop! And I was going to, I wanted to, but... No. I didn't mean to. She just, she fell. She no, 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 over. no, 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 she just no, fell. I no, 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 no. No! Oh, it was an accident, I swear. <laughs> I never meant for it to happen. It was an accident. No. I'm sorry. No. There's something else. That day that we were all looking for her, my mom and I found her in like this, this shack thing. What? What? What are you saying? My mom told me she wasn't gonna make it. Where's the shack at? Where? It was upstream from the water, I don't know. Is there, is it? Is it I don't know. Oh, I'm sorry. God. Oh my god. Sorry. I'm sorry. I, I don't care. you do? Nothing. What did you tell her, Kath? Nothing. What did you tell her? I'm sorry. I couldn't do it anymore. <laughs> You're willing to throw everything away. Everything. For who? Some girl you don't even know? What are you thinking? I'm protecting you! I've done everything! <laughs> Kat. Kat. Don't, don't touch me! Don't touch me! Or I told you we'd be in contact with the... Watch this. Where are you, baby? Well, let's start from where she's not. All right, the search party was split into three groups. Group one canvassed here, group two here, group three here. So that cancels those. Okay, which one that... had coach in it? 
Sisters Group 2. Okay, then that's where we look. That's where Sarah is. No, the canoe was found by Burke's no, Falls. No, she planted it there. What, coach? Okay, I know Sarah is here. I know it. I still need a little haystack. Okay. Cat. Cat said that Sarah was in some kind of, um, shack thing or, or a cabin. That wouldn't be on a map like this. Okay, she just said a shack, Rick, a shack. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There was Chuck Egan's old hunting spot. But, but, but it's probably rotted out by now. That's, that's a two-hour hike from the cliff at least. Oh, no, that is too long. That is too long. Come on.
Did you move? Move. What are you doing? I need you to move. Ruth, you don't have to do this. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Move. Claire. Put the gun down. Ruth. Claire. Ruth. Claire. Ruth, listen to me. Get out of the way. No. Get I am not moving. Her. Put the gun down. No. Move. I am not moving. Move. I have to finish what I started. I need you to move. No. Now. I won't. Ruth, put it down. No! Move! I need you to move! Please! You are gonna have to shoot me. Move. Have a good job, bro. Okay. 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 It's okay. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Sarah. Sarah. Well, I am a helicopter, Mom. <laughs> <laughs>